You know that scary thought about robots taking over that people used to joke about? Well, it is actually happening, and it is happening way faster than anyone could have imagined. Right now, in China, millions of robots are running real factory jobs, humanoids are getting kicked and shoved, and just refusing to fall. And artificial intelligences are jumping from one robot body to another, like it is some kind of science fiction possession. It is incredible. It is astonishing. And honestly, it is a little terrifying. I mean, it is one of those moments where you sit back and realize the future is no longer a distant dream. It is here, unfolding in front of our eyes, and it is moving faster than most of us can process. Let us dive into this because China is not just in the robotics race. They are crushing it. Over 2 million robots are already working on the job, more than anywhere else on Earth. 10 years ago, they barely had any, and now there are almost 500 robots for every 10,000 workers. That is not a small step forward, that is a massive leap into a completely new industrial era. When you think about the pace of that growth, it is staggering. The density of robots has jumped nearly tenfold in a decade, completely changing how factories operate, how workers interact with machines, and how production itself is conceived. And some of the machines coming out of there? They are just mind-blowing. It is not just about replacing human labor anymore. It is about creating machines that can operate with a kind of fluidity, intelligence, and resilience that we previously thought only humans could achieve. Take Unitree's G1 robot. You have probably seen the clips of it online, this humanoid getting kicked, shoved, and it just refuses to topple over. It literally balances like it is alive. They call it anti-gravity mode, and while it is not real anti-gravity, it sure feels like it. The control system anticipates when the robot is about to be disturbed and adjusts its balance almost instinctively. Watching it in action is honestly jaw-dropping. It moves like a martial artist trapped in metal and circuits, adapting mid-motion, stabilizing itself and continuing on like nothing happened. It is astonishing how far robotics have come in terms of physical resilience. It is one thing to see a robot walk in a straight line or even navigate a small obstacle, but this is something entirely different. It is movement with intent, movement that looks and feels alive. In one particularly striking test, engineers delivered a forceful sidekick to the G1. And the robot, instead of toppling over, it spread its stance, leaned into the impact, and recovered immediately, almost as if it were silently mocking the test, saying, nice try. The precision, timing, and coordination involved in that response are incredible. And get this, it is priced around $16,000. For a humanoid robot that moves like that, that is almost unbelievable. The accessibility of this technology is remarkable. It is not just a luxury lab experiment anymore. Research labs, factories, and even universities can afford these machines. That means we are going to see more experimentation, more innovation, and more real-world applications at a pace that would have been impossible a decade ago. And China is not slowing down either. Their robotics industry grew nearly 30% in the first half of 2025 alone. It is like every company is in a race to build the smartest, toughest, and most lifelike machines possible. And watching the progress is honestly thrilling. It is one thing to read the statistics, but to see these robots in action, adapting to unexpected forces, performing complex maneuvers, and interacting with humans in increasingly convincing ways is entirely another. The country is investing heavily, not just in the machines themselves, but in the infrastructure, software, and artificial intelligence that powers them. Speaking of lifelike, you have got to see what a head form is doing. Their ELF series humanoid heads are next level creepy and amazing at the same time. Tiny eyebrow movements, Micro smiles, subtle eye shifts, all powered by 30 degrees of motion and ultra silent motors. The facial expressions are so nuanced that when the head responds to someone talking, it mirrors human emotion convincingly. It is almost unsettling because you find yourself reacting emotionally to a machine. I mean, I literally caught myself feeling surprised, happy, or even slightly intimidated by a robot head. That is both amazing and a little creepy. A head form is even collaborating with game studios to make sure every expression looks cinematic and realistic. The philosophy here is that robots should not just move or act, they should interact in a way that feels human. The AI integration allows these heads to perceive, interpret, and respond to voice, visual cues, and emotional states in real time. 
Watching it makes you feel something even though you know it is not alive, and that is precisely the point. It challenges the way we think about human interaction and our emotional responses to machines. Imagine a world where customer service representatives, teachers, or healthcare assistants are robots that can respond to subtle emotional cues with the same fluidity and empathy as humans. That is not some distant future. That is happening right now in laboratories and pilot programs. Now here is where things get really insane. There is a company called Skilled Artificial Intelligence, and they have created what is basically a universal robot brain. This is not for just one type of machine. It can control any robot body, humanoids, dog robots, drones, whatever you can imagine. And it is trained on 100,000 different robot types in simulation. It literally knows how to adapt to anything. This is not some minor achievement. It is revolutionary. It means that one single AI can move seamlessly between robot bodies, mastering completely different forms of locomotion, stability, and task execution. The potential for adaptability is staggering. In one demonstration, a robot dog had all of its legs cut off, and it kept moving. It adapted its behavior in real time and continued performing tasks that would normally require a fully intact body. No human could have programmed that on the fly. That is artificial intelligence learning instincts, thinking on its own, and operating with a level of autonomy that feels almost alive. It is thrilling, and honestly a little unsettling at the same time. The thought that robots can not only survive damage, but continue performing their functions autonomously is a paradigm shift in how we think about industrial and emergency applications factories, disaster zones, even space missions, these artificial intelligences do not just survive chaos, they thrive in it. And that opens the door to possibilities that were once the domain of science fiction. When you zoom out, all these breakthroughs are part of a massive transformation in China. Over two million industrial robots are running nonstop in factories across the country, and the number is only going up. Entire assembly lines are becoming fully autonomous. There is even a truck factory that can build a full vehicle in 15 minutes. 15 minutes, that is insane. That is beyond what we could have imagined a decade ago. The integration of AI with robotics, combined with high-speed precision manufacturing, has completely rewritten the playbook for what production lines are capable of. And the human side of this is wild too. Sure, some traditional jobs are disappearing, but a whole new class of jobs is emerging people who maintain, program, and improve these machines. The line between human work and robot work is blurring faster than anyone expected. It is not just about who can work faster or longer anymore. It is about collaboration between humans and machines in a way that amplifies capabilities. That is exciting, and honestly, a little scary, especially when you realize that the scale and speed of these changes leave little room for incremental adaptation. Then there is the next wave, biomimetic robotics, machines built to move and act like humans and animals. Clone Robotics is developing artificial muscles that flex and contract just like ours. Their android prototypes move with eerie realism as if they are alive. It is like something straight out of science fiction. These are not stiff metallic puppets. These machines can move with grace, precision, and power, mimicking the biomechanics of living organisms. The applications for such technology are vast, from physical rehabilitation devices to humanoid workers that can handle delicate tasks in variable environments. And Fourier's N1 humanoid? This robot does cartwheels and spins midair like a professional athlete. Watching it move makes you realize these machines are no longer stiff and clunky. They are fluid, dynamic, and feel alive in motion. It is honestly mesmerizing to see the combination of AI Sensor technology and mechanical engineering has created robots capable of athletic feats, complex problem solving, and nuanced interaction in ways that simply were not possible just a few years ago. Experts say we are still at the beginning. Within five years, most semi-automated production lines could become fully intelligent. Robots will not just follow orders anymore. They will make real-time decisions, process data instantly, and adapt to their surroundings. The world's industries are about to run on machine instincts. Watching it unfold is both awe-inspiring and slightly unnerving, especially when you consider the implications for global economies, labor markets, and the relationship between humans and machines. So yeah, the robot revolution is not coming. It is here, and honestly, 
Seeing it unfold is equal parts exhilarating and a little terrifying. These machines are not just tools anymore. They are partners, collaborators, and in some ways, independent entities capable of learning, adapting, and thriving. The speed at which they are evolving challenges our very notions of work, interaction, and society. It is a thrilling time to be observing technology, but it is also a moment that demands our attention and careful consideration. That is all for today. Stay curious, stay alert, and maybe keep one eye on the robots. They are learning faster than you think, and honestly, it is a little mind-blowing.